Hey guys, what's going on? Honest Abe checking in with a little sports update. It is opening day in Major League Baseball, and so hopefully you guys are having a terrific Thursday out there and uh, just enjoying uh, the weather. It's uh, windy, and especially we've got some storms blowing in here to East Tennessee. They'll be here probably this afternoon. But, uh, but yeah, you can probably hear the wind in the background. It's really windy today. But I hope you're having a great day. And uh, let me know what you guys are doing for, uh, for opening day. Uh, you know, I think one of the, the downfalls around uh, East Tennessee is that, you know, sometimes we don't really get into opening day in Major League Baseball a whole lot. we got a lot of Braves fans around here. So Braves kick off their season at 4.05, I believe, today is uh, first pitch for their season. But, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes it's hard to get into the tradition and stuff of opening day of baseball. A great pastime, of course. And, uh, but, uh, but I know so a lot of people, if you're in a, if you're in a major league ballpark city, uh, you tend to play hooky on the first day for work and uh, hit the ballparks and enjoy a little barbecue and stuff for opening day. So I hope you guys are doing, doing good. But, uh, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the Braves real quick. Um, you know, they had a... They had an okay season uh, last year. I think they won uh, uh, 70, 72 games. Uh, and, you know, projections right now that they'll win, I think, 76 this year. They're not even going to get to 80. Uh, but you know what? I think, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a Braves fan uh, at all. So you guys can hold that against me for being in East Tennessee. I'm a Red Sox fan. We'll talk about the Red Sox here in a minute. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, you know, I, I think that the Braves stay healthy. They should be able to get to 80 wins this season. Uh, hopefully they'll get to 500. It's always good in this area when the Braves uh, do well. And uh, I still haven't had a chance to get down to their ballpark. I actually got to go down for uh, one of the last games um, at Turner Field uh, uh, two seasons ago. And uh, that was that was incredible. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that ballpark. Haven't got down to their new ballpark yet. Uh, but uh, maybe hopefully get down there this season, catch a game. Uh, with the Braves, but uh, but yeah, I'm thinking the Braves that they, they might they might reach 500 this year. I'm hoping so at least. Uh, but uh, but yeah, you know, uh, Major League Baseball is is great. You know, I, I've I've kept track of Major League Baseball over the years. I I really fell out of touch with it uh, several years ago, and going through all the strikes and all the drama and political stuff, and it just really turned me off to Major League Baseball and. I really enjoyed minor league baseball. I love watching the Smokies, Chattanooga Lookouts, and and I love I love uh, minor league baseball, college baseball. Uh, I think I think those sports still hold a little bit true to the the nature of of the sport still. But uh, but yeah, you know, uh, major league baseball is great. I always, I mean, I always watch uh, the games. I try to throughout the season, especially in, heading down to the playoffs in October and stuff like that in the in the World Series. I always catch that every year. Definitely enjoy watching, watching the playoffs and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I baseball kind of gets pushed aside the next couple of weeks. Of course, we still got some basketball left, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on that tomorrow for the Final Four and stuff, and kind of some pregame uh, matchups for that. And then, of course, you know, you got spring training for football that kind of kicks off. And you know, in the South, we are definitely uh, football oriented. Um, fans and uh, we love our football so spring practice is well underway uh, for teams but uh, yeah you know Major League Baseball kicks off today looking forward to the season and everything that's going to happen uh, you know my Red Sox they, they look like uh, they could be strong this year but they're going to have to compete with those uh, Yankees man those Yankees look look real strong uh, again this year uh, with some of the pickups uh, that they did but I think the Red Sox with Chris Sell as their ace uh, and they got some good guys, Martinez in the outfield, stuff like that. I think they'll do well uh, this season. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, make another run like they did last year. Um, they lost to Houston, of course. And Houston looks good, too, uh, again, this year. I think they'll, they'll do well. And uh, I'm not going to discount the Cubbies, you know. The Cubbies are always around there. Uh, and uh, I think they'll do pretty well uh, this season as well. But, man, yeah, those Red Sox are going to have to compete with those Yankees. So... Definitely stay tuned in the coming weeks as uh, as we highlight some uh, Major League Baseball uh, in in our videos, and uh, just kind of moving moving on towards football. You know, uh, Tennessee they, they uh, suit up again for another spring practice. I believe this is their fifth 
uh, day of spring practice. It'll be the third day in pads. And, you know, Tennessee's still a little thin in spring practice with the offensive line. Uh, they're only addressing, I think, seven right now, offensive linemen. But, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying the videos that Tennessee football is putting out. You can catch those on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, Jeremy Pruitt's interviews. Uh, they're, they're, they're promising, you know. I'm not going to go out and make a prediction now, as I've said before. But, uh, but yeah, you know what? I think we're definitely going to have a better season than we did this past season here in Vol Nation. Um, and, and looking forward to that, especially the spring a spring game coming up, which is actually going to be a game. We're kind of moving away from the weird scoring system that Butch Jones had in place. But, I mean, I understand what he did because he really didn't have a full team he was able to put out on the field for, for spring. Uh, but, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing an actual origin white game, offense, defense, ones versus twos again. I think that'll be uh, that'll be definitely enjoyable, enjoyable for Vol fans. And I plan on being there for – for, for the orange and white game, and so I'm going to be uh, bringing you guys some coverage on that. Don't know right now if it's fully going to be possible, but it is my game plan right now to be there at the orange and white game and bring you guys some coverage on that. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, football spring practice is underway. Uh, hockey's gearing down for the playoffs, and, of course, we got some basketball going on this weekend. And, of course, it's Easter weekend, and, of course, we have a Good Friday uh, tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get you guys a video for that for tomorrow, leading up to the games, and of course Easter's on Sunday. So I hope you guys all travel safe for Easter, and uh, you guys enjoy the time spending with your families and such. Mel and I are gonna be heading up to uh, Morristown uh, this this weekend to spend time with some family up there. But uh, we're gonna be bringing you guys some videos for for basketball. But yeah, that's just kind of uh, my quick update. Uh, for opening day, so I hope you guys enjoy some Major League Baseball out there. It's good to have baseball back uh, for the springtime. And this is Honest Abe signing off. We'll see you guys later.